naturally at the camera. Okay, it's recording anyway. Oh. <laughs> Hey there Potter Puffs, welcome back to my channel. Today we have my favourite special guest back. It's Brit! Yay! And we are doing two unboxings. That's right, two. I am really excited. There's been a lot of advent calendars recently, so we're going back to basics and we're doing subscription boxes. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Brit's opening. Is it your first subscription box? My second. Your second? So basically my first. What was your first one? A Geek Gear one, like two years ago. Oh, okay. And do you know what the theme of your box that you're going to be unboxing is? Order of the Phoenix. Correct. Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> and mine is back to Hogwarts, and I believe it's like Hogwarts House Pride. I'm not sure if it's going to be Hufflepuff themed, which is what you thought. Or if it's going to be all the houses. Who even knows? Do you pick your house when you get it? Mm, maybe. I think that's the answer. If you pick your house, then it probably Yeah, if it was Geek Gear, it probably would be like that. Wands at the ready. Let's see if our boxes appear. One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you have to I do it at the right thing. time. Okay. Three, two, one. It's appeared. We both got a subscription box to open. Britt will be presenting hers, the Order of the Phoenix edition. And I will be unboxing the special edition. Who knows which will be better? They're both going to be pretty special. Just before we begin, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notifications bell, and also have a little look at the Wizarding Trunk website. I do have a discount code, which I will link down below. I do get sent the boxes for free, but the opinions are always my own. So let's begin. Are we ready? For We're box ready. one. You need scissors. Mm, we need scissors. Can you get me some scissors? Where are they? Um, oh yeah, I should have done it myself. Uh, in the kitchen, in the kitchen drawer on the left by the fridge. Right, let's begin. Any predictions for what items are going to be in this box? Types I of items. I have less idea. Is this the one with tea? Uh, no, actually, there isn't much tea in these ones. There used to be, but I haven't done any for a while. I actually don't have any idea. That makes this more fun. Mm. So you get the first look. Sometimes I drop things out of the box when I do this. <laughs> oh, it is Hufflepuff themed. Told you. I'm already a bit excited, actually. Look how shiny this prefect badge is. <laughs> okay, so we have got, first of all, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. It is themed to my house and it's a prefect badge. Now, actually, funnily enough, Geek Gear did give away a similar thing, but it's oh, not yeah. shiny. I've actually got it on my shelf. I love it. Does it say I prefect actually, on it? It says head girl and head boy. And I actually prefer this because of how mm. shiny it is. That's You've got really the colour nice more in it as well. Yes. Brighter. Okay, next item. I'm actually really intrigued by this. This is a bath bomb. Potion of peace, lev lemon. 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 Lemon, orange and lavender bath salts. It looks like it's in a cauldron. Is that a cauldron? Oh my God, it's actually in a cauldron. That's so cute. I actually live for bath <laughs> products. And you could put something else in that afterwards as well. I thought it was a bath. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice, actually. So it's basically, it's got lots of different things in it. It will smell like lemon, orange and lavender. And I love things for the bath. Do, that, do, that. do this one. Oh, we have a captain hat. It's a baseball cap. That feels, thank you. <laughs> thank you for dusting it, Britt. <laughs> I don't want to model this right now. Do you want to model sure. this right now? Your hair's up. It's hard. Yeah, it's difficult. Oh, oh, that actually oh. looks really good with your black hair. <laughs> I actually really I like it. Skip. That actually really suits you. I can't get over that. I feel like I need to give that to you because captain. it looks good. So it's themed for my house. It's got the yellow captain written along the top. It's quite a sturdy baseball cap. Good quality. Sturdy. I'm a fan of that. Feels I, nice. Yeah. And also it fits my head and I don't have a very big head. The actual, without sounding weird, the <laughs> brim of the cap is actually really nicely rounded. I don't know, I'm just... I'm is like, it adjustable if you had a bigger head? Because this fits me perfectly. Yeah, it's yeah. got Velcro. That is a nice Lovely. product and it's unisex. So yeah. boy or girl, doesn't matter. You could wear this. Oh. And they've actually got tea. This pumpkins, oh, it's Halloween themed. That's nice. Oh, I'm going to use this at work. This pumpkin spice tea will make you feel like you're setting outside. Is it meant to say sitting outside? Is that me? It does say setting. Okay, so 
I'm setting outside Hagrid's hut. Sitting outside Hagrid's hut. Maybe you're setting something up outside Hagrid's hut. On the ground, overlooking his pumpkin patch. I like the kind of uh, imagery that we're getting from this. It's all about the imagery with these boxes. Pumpkin tea with hints of ginger, cinnamon, and something I don't know what it is. Cardamom. Cardamom, yeah. That's not particularly odd. Cardamom seeds. I've never heard of that in my life. It's a spice. Okay. Do you want to smell it? Because we have to do the smell test. Oh, Tell me the truth. Do you like the smell of it? I'm not one for spice, is in, you know, you can get candles that are spicy yes. smells. I'm not really one for that, but a lot of people are. Okay. So. I quite like it. It smells cinnamony. It's cinnamon. It does smell cinnamon. Yep. Ginger, mm. cinnamon. Oh, ginger. Yeah, that's and what And cardamom. Britt wants me to see what the thing at the bottom is. Oh, it's, what's this? The magical. Oh, that's nice. Does that say adventure? Oh, it no. Didn't. Oh, <laughs> book. Sorry. <laughs> Apparently I can't read today. Created by Twillings and Tattings, they make some lovely things and they always do things for these boxes. To be fair, this wasn't called House Box actually, was it? It was Back to Hogwarts. Was it? You, you said it was Back to Hogwarts, yes, but House Yes, it was theme. Back to Hogwarts. It's not all going to be house stuff. No, but you've completely actually solved that for me because all of Someone's the items... I was just thinking it's not, yeah. This is something I'd use at Hogwarts. Oh, I'm glad you clarified that. So it is a nice, plain, lined notebook. Perfect for you to write absolutely anything in. It's got a really cute little Hogwarts crest in the background. And I like the kind of ombre design, do you? Ombre. Very nice. I mean, I don't think personally, if I'm being critical potentially of this, I do like it, but it doesn't remind me of anything in the movies or books. I mean, I agree with that, but that doesn't bother me. I think the only thing that bothers me is the flimsiness of it. I'm not a fan of a flimsy notebook. Okay. Like have more hardness on either side. Yeah, that's, so that's you can a, lean on it. a fair comment, fair comment. So one thing I can see that goes with this notebook. <gasps> oh, I really Ooh. like this. This is potentially my favorite item in the box What's so the far. What's like? Okay. What's that? Should I try writing with it? I think it's probably just a normal pen. Is that Tipex? It's an invisible ink. Is it invisible ink? This may need to be explained at the end on the sheet. <laughs> that is such a cool pen though. I'm going to use it regardless in photos. Britt's really confused by it. <laughs> I shouldn't be looking. It's a normal pen, guys. Oh, is <laughs> I just it? needed to get it started. <laughs> so what have you done to the notebook, Britt? Ooh, could get the pen, but it is a normal pen. That's such a nice pen though. I just love the fact it says acceptance quill in this really cute hmm. writing. Oh, that's nice. I, I really like that. Definitely amazing. And I do love the fact that we can match it with the notebook a bit there. Right. It's like a, like a lucky a dip. There. You get loads for your money with these boxes. I am well surprised at how much. Oh, oh, oh God, you're directing me. You're going to love yours. So we have Calming Potion. And this is a potion used for calming the drinker. This potion tastes strongly of peppermint. How many Ooh, people actually drink that? You have to be careful with these boxes. Um, there was another funny, box. If a little kid had that, you can't and be careful. Some things you can drink. Like I bought a liquid potion you can drink. But this isn't drinkable. This will be one for the shelf. But I love the colours. Is this biscuits? I think I see some biscuits, Brit. The notes attached. Butterscotch white chocolate chip cookies. I've never had cookies or something that's edible right now in a box. But like we can eat these. Right now. Hello, dear. Oh, this is a bit weird. I have packed you <laughs> some of your favourite butterscotch cookies for the back ride to back to school. Oh, don't forget to write if you get homesick. Mum. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> she's remembered us, Britt, and she's put two in the bag. Two in there, one for each of us. Let's get started on a ride right now. Let's get started on a ride right now. <laughs> I really want the cookies. Take it. Yeah, take mine, because it's going to take you about three years to get to your... Oh, you've got a bigger one. These are amazing cookies. Very melt in your mouth. Very melt in your mouth. We've had a lovely little biscuit mm. break. <laughs> Back to the box. How many more items are there? Oh, oh. It's still like five. There's loads. That's genuine brick. impressed. So we have something here that's like a magical artifact. So essentially it could be like a Hogsmeade map. I've had one that was not a poster. A fire map. It is like a poster. It's like a print. Do you have a Marauder's map one? No. I actually ripped the bag on these because they're really hard to get out. Ooh! I thought it was going to be everyone just then. That's going to be proud of Back to school. Is this the journey to school, Brick? Can you see it? I see it. Yeah, it's a train, it's a train track. Ah! I just have to look at it this way to actually see it a second. So that's King's Cross Station. 
and it's basically going up to hog speed at the top. Do you like that? You're a bit confused by it, aren't you? I'm not confused. I just think that it should have. Um, if I had paid for it, I'd be a bit disappointed. Why? It's not something like from the films or something that I would recognise. Okay, fair I, enough. I feel like. Do you know what I think? I can't make, make it myself. Okay. Not to be rude. <laughs> no, no, I get what you mean. I mean, for me, the thing that would improve this is if they put the Hogwarts Express on it. Yeah, I agree. On the train Something track Harry somewhere. Pottery. Because yeah. if you're just looking at this, it's difficult without the... Really, you can't tell it's it's Harry Potter related particularly. Apart from the swelly bit there. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they could add the Hogwarts Express in colour. But nice idea. It's mm. unique. But, yeah, I, I agree with you that there are improvements that could be made. So many things in there. So much. There's still stuff in here. So much more than the Gear ones. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are wax melt cubes. See, I have a wax burner over there and I do actually use it. So what's this? Flitwick's handmade in, what does that say? Idaho. Idaho. Place in America. Oh, thank you. My <laughs> knowledge bank of the video. Dorm rooms, top half, Sunday brunch, bottom half, hazelnut coffee. What? Don't eat it. It's not free. No, I know it's not free. <laughs> <laughs> but does that mean that we actually burn it? The smell of that? It smells different. Maybe you're not meant to actually do stuff with it. Maybe it's just burning. Maybe it's like a candle, but not a candle. That's so cool. I can smell the hazelnut coffee. I'm not a massive lover of coffee smell. Actually smell it? Yes. Oh, you can smell it. You can. <gasps> I've just got so excited about something, guys. It's a butter beer flavoured, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Lip balm. That's it. Bloss is going to start using lip balm. <laughs> I do use lip balm all the time. I wasn't eating it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that You don't happen. eat it all the time. <laughs> That's true. So this is from Alchemy of the Skin, who make a lot of products, often the beauty-related products for the box. I've got lipstick on now, so I'm not going to put it on. Can you smell that a bit? Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And something I'll use throughout it's winter. Like almond. Ooh. Look at the other beauty product. Oh, it's a room spray. I appreciate a room spray quite oh, a lot. I'm Look jealous of that. Are you? Well, you can do a little swapsy at the end with the certain <laughs> things that we want to swap. It's like school all over again. So this is, oh, I don't know if I'm going to want to swap this though, because it's the start what? of term feast, Brit, in a oh, room Oh, you know spray. what? I don't need that in a room. That's, <laughs> that's how my flat ends up smelling <laughs> like. Right, I'm going to spray like a some. roast dinner. <laughs> that's about it. Can you spray it near my face? Oh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I don't know. I can't smell it very that well. It doesn't smell like a feast. Um, pumpkin caramel. Oh, it does smell cream. like pumpkin. It does smell like it pumpkin. It does smell like pumpkin. Actually, I That's like the what smell. I can smell. I'm glad it doesn't smell like roast potatoes. <laughs> That's like, what I'm always going to be. <laughs> like loads of different like ways. Christmas dinner. Yeah. In a spray. <laughs> I mean, that's great if I'm eating it, but not if I'm not eating it. That's a nice idea though, because I don't have any room spray and it's for body as well. So you could use it for either, which is... <laughs> I'm going to spray myself to smell like a start of term feast. Doesn't that sound a little bit odd? It's a bit odd if someone walks past you like, mmm. <laughs> but it's a um, bit odd. Appreciate that. So it's just quite rare that they would say it's room and body spray. <laughs> yeah. Like normally, it's like buy... deodorants for both the face and your toilet. Like, you buy like a Glade air freshener. <laughs> Feel free to rub it on your body. <laughs> We've gone off topic a bit. I do appreciate this. And this is probably one of my favourite items. That's a good idea. Nice. Okay, and we're on to the last item. What does this say? What does it say, Brit? Back to the world of wiz wizards, witches and magical things. Oh, that's, that's nice. cute. That's a simple bag. Looks strong. Looks very strong. That's actually very, that's very um, hessian. Strong fabric. It is. It is hessian fabric. What's hessian? That's a type of me <laughs> i do like the um font i like the hessian fabric and i also like the fact it encourages us to not buy carrier bags all the time because that is great so i would say overall that was a strong box there were some items i really loved and i'm going to tell you what they are right now so it's actually quite tough to choose i love this because it's in the shape of a cauldron i'm going to put it out in my bathroom and i love anything for the bath i love this quill it's a lovely gold colour so I'll use it in lots of my photos and it's something I'll use being a pen. I actually really appreciate the fact that it says acceptance quill. It's just a really nice aesthetically pleasing piece. 
And lastly, you guys, I'm sure you guessed it, the Butterbeer Lip Balm. Wait, the cookies as well. I actually oh, really love the cookies. The cookies. They, existed. they were gone in about five seconds. The cookies. What do we have left of the cookies? Just the packet. We love the bag. <laughs> <laughs> they were good. So my least favourite item is probably this poster because I agree with you, Britt, that it's not particularly Potter themed and there was more that could be done with it. So as a kind of artwork print, probably not my favourite. I'm going to clear some space now and Britt is going to start unboxing the Order of the Phoenix Year 5 Wizarding Trunk. My go! Yes! I'm really excited to see someone else unbox as I'm sat here. I'm not going to be a snake. That's fine. There you go. Tip it out. Oh, let's look. Oh, I'm already excited from the oh, first so thing on top. Right, what have you got for Ooh. it? Oh, you can't see anything. You get a lot of paper artifacts often in these boxes. You're going to appreciate this. Oh, that's the answer. Oh, I don't want to see that. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know that though. You can what fill is in your, ex like your exam results. So what, give me an example of a question on it. What spell makes an object a form of transportation? What is said object? Oh, it's like a quiz. <gasps> so it's your hour examination. That's my actual exam. That's fun. Something pink I can see. Is that Umbridge related? Look at the cat. Oh, it's even got the little cat stamp on it. Yes, yeah, so I've got a wax seal stamp. So what do you think is inside it? I don't want to break it. Oh, I know, I always have that struggle. Oh no. Huh. That's actually, is that wood? Because I've had a night bus so. version. Yeah, that is wood. Oh, that's nice. I don't even have a bookmark. That's good then. That's actually really it. quirky. And the picture looks just like her. That's very, I like the fact that it's That'll not be a photo. Because a photo might look a bit like, yeah, no. I don't know. That'll be handmade by someone. It'll tell you at the end. Because on the back of that sheet. that name there, isn't it? Oh yeah. I like the fact you can't see it all. No, it's fun. It's like, <gasps> oh. Boy. Oh, is it a biscuit tin? <laughs> yes, it is. For it. What does it say? Oh my god, a biscuit tin! <laughs> I don't even have a biscuit tin! My shortbread's good going in! Right, so story time. Britt was telling me, we don't see each other loads, but she was telling me today that every time she has a cup of tea now, she has a shortbread biscuit. Not only that, Britt, but this is a McGonagall tin and it's tartan themed and shortbread, I'm pretty so sure, excited. is from Scotland. So, Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, Ooh, that yes. is the best thing you could possibly have got in the box. I am really excited about that. And you that. can save those biscuits. We won't eat them now this time. That yeah. is amazing. That couldn't have been much better. And that me, quote was in the Order of the Phoenix. I was actually just thinking how I wanted a biscuit tin the other day. I'm really happy that you got that, actually. I am. <laughs> that reaction is very genuine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will. It says the High Inquisitor's office. Is that what it's meant to smell like? The High Her office? Yeah. Not, it will say the ingredients somewhere. Oh, that smells like Albus oil, and I like the smell of Albus oil. Oh my oil. god, that smells lush. And it's got pink glitter. Mm. Oh, what do you think of that? That's really, I like the fact it's a bright colour. It's minty. Because candles, I would want to display more when they're. Oh, it is minty. Yes, it's minty. Not it's like, it smells like Aero to me. Oh, it does smell like Aero. <laughs> Will you burn that or are you just somebody uh, who display We're not allowed candles burning uh, in the flat, but when I move out, I will burn it. <laughs> For now, I'll just sit in bed and be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? What's the sound of Frank? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I get really overexcited when <laughs> someone else opened in the box. But <laughs> it is. is Dragon Skull? That is definitely, is it a Festral related product? Oh, it's a Festral head. It is a Festral head. I like that as wouldn't a unique beak. thing, but I wouldn't probably wear it. I mean, yeah, it's just not really my style. But if you had a costume and you wanted to, or oh, to be fair, anybody who, because this is a popular, skulls and stuff, yeah, very popular. a lot of people would wear that for sure. It's got a Harry Potter nod to it as well. So I think it's really cool. Just wouldn't be so There's someone friendly. I know who I'd probably be like, oh, they'd like that. So yeah, it's, it's very detailed though. Very detailed. You know what I don't want? I don't want that thing where, um, what? When you think there's another crisp and there's not. So can you check how many items there are so I don't get disappointed? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. At least seven or eight. Oh, what's that for? No, you do get a lot in there. Oh, no, it's more than nine. Than... No, I didn't. There's eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> there's loads. Is this Grimble Place? You know what this would be good for, Bloss? Your Lego things? Oh yeah, it's like a background. That's actually really true. nice. It's like photograph quality as well, so it's, it's not like paper. 
That's a really good idea. So what's the matching one in here of this one? So that's another art print and we get some often ah, by this artist. That's really nice. That's like... So that's of a Thestral, which definitely comes into the movie only in year mm. five. So that's cool. And the books. What's next? I'm enjoying this so much. Who's that? What is that? I'm so confused. If it unscrews, what does it say? It unscrews the other way. Is that Peeves? Oh, of course, we never see Peeves, do we? We don't see Peeves. That's a good shout. I think that's Peeves. He's looks... blue. Yeah, but he's a ghost. So they're kind of blue translucent. They might True. not have been able to do it as you would want, maybe, because he wouldn't be skin colour, would he? Are you a fan of that? It's really nice. Yeah. You know, uh, when you know who it is, it isn't. I kind of wait. Of course, they can't put names on and stuff, can they? No. But last month we had Winky, and you never see her in the movies. And I was really happy because Winky Did You know it was Winky straight away? Yes, because it was a Dobby in a dress, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is an item that I want to know what it is. <gasps> what is that? A potion? Ooh. Yes, like it nice. is. It's a replenishing potion. That looks really blood like, actually. I don't know if that's the best product. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, I have a fear of blood. <laughs> Really funny. <laughs> Obviously, I know it's not, so I'm cool. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> That's really funny. This potion is used to replenish the drinker's blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd use. Best if used every hour on the hour. Well, that's terrifyingly realistic. <laughs> we might have to swap potions. <laughs> <laughs> no, the quality of that as well. Feel the. Yeah, that's a very really, heavy, I've never like... seen a potion in that shape either. Oh, really? No, they've never been that big or that shape. So that's a really nice replica. Ooh, oh, that's one of their paper replicas. They do these quite a lot. They're like individual read a bit? pieces of the book. Yes. Just a little. Good evening, Minister. As I'm sure you are aware from our many conversations that the so-called headmaster at this school is still crossing lines. Very nice. And it looks very realistic as well. Very realistic. I like the effect on the paper. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, what's that? It's like a toilet roll. It is like a toilet roll, like a thin toilet roll tube. Is that another potion? No, no, I think it's potpourri. No, it's, it's tea. tea. It's, it's tea. tea. <laughs> it's flavoured tea, but that's a really unique way of like... That looks really showing nice. Showing it. And it's got the brew instructions on the side. Would you try a flavoured tea? Mm. I just don't know how you do it. I've actually got something you can use for that, Brit. Can yes. I try it while I'm here? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad we made that plan. <laughs> Oh, it's nice that they say on it that if you don't like tea, you can use it for your magical shelf. Oh, that's nice. That's so cute. That's nice. That's such a cute thing to say. Because a lot of people won't like tea, so it kind of just gives it two shuts uses. Shuts their people up. <laughs> yeah. Or gives them two uses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see another pin. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. That's like a glittery festival pin. That's really cute. Very nice. So we've had three festival items. That's nice. Hmm. The thing is, with Order of the Phoenix, they are the two biggest yes. things you can include, that umbridge and, and the pin. Vestral. And it's shiny. Really shimmery, yeah. Oh, shimmery. Really nice. And from a distance, like... You wouldn't tell. No. Little, little nod. Oh! Oh, is that a list pad? So this is a little list pad. What does it don't say? Don't leave it till later, you big second rater. That must be a quote, but I don't know what quote that is. Slightly offended. Don't leave it till later. You... That's nice though. I think in the comments down below, you need to tell us where that quote's from because I cannot remember. But that's actually really cool. That's it's really nice. To-do list. To-do list. I have a lot to do. So on it goes. <laughs> no, that's really nice. Feels really weird. Watch that. It's like, it's like parchment-y. But it's also a bit... Oh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, I really, really like that. I don't really get the quote, so as Bloss said, let us know what the quote means. But I think that's really, really nice. You would use it definitely. for a uni kind yeah, definitely. of product. Yeah, good. A few items left. Let's rescue it. Is this a window sticker? Um, is this for them from the ministry? Oh, is this Purpose like when they went in to um, get the prophecy? It's definitely a sticker, I think. Is it? I just need to remember where it's from. Sometimes they're so clever. Well. It's just definitely ministry. Definitely but. ministry. I think that's really cool. And I think it's a stick. I, my guess is it might be a window stick or something. It'll say at the end. We'll find out. Oh, this is going to be the... Oh, I don't want to look. 
Okay, final item. See? Nearly, we got that, not the last crisp, but the last crisp thing, so. <laughs> it's all good. Last item. I think it's a body product. <gasps> the dirigible fruits. That's Luna's fruit fling, isn't it? You know, the drib dribbly plums, I call them. You know? Yeah, those things she, she likes Go in her garden. cream with shea butter, mango oil, and pineapple extract. Ooh, it's like body cream. Let's do the smell. Ooh. That's nice. That's for mango. Yeah, it's nice. So Wish that, it said on it what it actually was. Yeah, I think it is like body That's nice. Body cream. No, I'm really happy with that. And that smells really nice. It smells of mangoes. I think that they have done like everything. They've like covered all Harry Potter life basis. I mean I just generally mean like types of product that like, they've got one of like everything. Yeah. I Doesn't look yours to be fair. Yeah. But they they cover things well. I'm yeah. impressed with that. They do. We all know my clear winner. Your clear winner was the biscuit, biscuit tin. tin. <laughs> no, I couldn't have asked for a better thing, to be honest. Biscuits in there. <laughs> We've already eaten the last biscuit. <laughs> but you can smell them. Ooh, they smell like chocolate chip They goodies. are chocolate chip goodies. Yeah, they do <laughs> smell good. I think, putting my anxieties aside, <laughs> I think my least favourite... Brick, say it on camera. Sorry. sorry. I think my least favourite are probably... Do you want to say it again when you're on camera? Yeah, I start Pick beside... Pick up the item first and then... It's because I start beside Ah, uh, okay. Decide and then talk. <laughs> I think my least favourite item is this pin. Not because it isn't good, but I just think I'm not a massive fan of the design of it. Like, the animatedness of it. Yeah, it's quite colourful, isn't it? And mm. not in the way you necessarily assume. Not the most stylish item, I wouldn't say. No, no. But I still think it's really cool. And I liked everything in there, apart from the pot of blood. <laughs> Do you know what? My favourite item was actually the Umbridge bookmark. I thought that that design on wood was really, really nice. That was fun, wasn't it? Very we fun. unboxed two amazing boxes. Thank you so much, The Wisting Trunk, for sending me those boxes to enjoy with Brit today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you again very soon for some more Christmas videos and also non-Christmas videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.